Dear student, as I have shown you in the previous video, the ordered by clause with an ascending order. Here, what I am saying, the ordered by clause uh, with the descending order uh, along with some condition. Isn't it? That means little bit critical we are making in your question paper. The thing will come in a critical way. See here. Uh, see this thing. First, what has been done? Uh, first, I have shown you that uh, simple this one. Select asterisk. Uh, first, I have done this where clause. I have shown you how to use the where clause. Two where clause I have shown you. Implementation, uh, seeing the all the values, seeing some certain values from the table. Okay, certain column values from the table. Now, uh, this also I have shown you using the uh, uh, this particular um, order by order by using the name in the if you don't give anything, that means it will come in ascending order. Now, here what I am doing, I am giving some condition and with the condition I am giving the order by clause. That means two things I am using, two clause I am using here. One is where clause, one is order by clause. Okay, and this order by clause, what I am making in descending order. So, how to do it? Uh, order by clause, then D E S C. Okay, then you have to write the descending order like D E S C. Semicolon. Okay, so now you run it. Okay. The thing came, uh, you, I want to show this only two columns. So, two columns value has been shown. Uh, those who are passed, their value has been shown. And uh, what in, in the descending order it has been arranged. Okay, descending order you can see it first S came, then R came, then A, the, all the A's, then A M, then A M, A M I, then A M A, then A B I. Okay, so this way the things came uh, as it's uh, been adding because after M then B comes, so after M then B came. So this is the descending order how the thing has been done in an order by clause. Now suppose you want to update anything. Okay, again go to this one, create, then um, query in the design view, select it. Close it now. Go to the SQL uh, view from here. SQL view after SQL view. Here you have to write suppose update. Okay, uh, up update -E, update what? What you need to update? Table name is result. R E S U L T S results. Okay, update result. What you update? Suppose set A C T. I I want to set. Uh, change the title of the person who has uh, roll number is 103 okay set last name st last underscore n a m e last name equals to set last name equals to what suppose last name i am giving here uh, sharma okay last name i am giving here sharma s h a r m e sharma last name sharma where w h e r e where again where clause we required here where was s t u underscore i d that means how you'll recognize that where uh, you need to uh, change the thing equals to what suppose one zero three okay then run it answer once you click yes what it is written uh, undo command the change the change you want to change are you sure you want to change yes I want to change it. Okay, now you open the table. Uh, our table is this is the table. Table is here only. See here, it has changed. One zero three has been changed into Sharma, isn't it? So this is the way you can do uh, your SQL. All the SQLs we have done, all the different type of SQL commands that are possible to come uh, from your book page number. Uh, page number. Uh, SQL queries will start from the page number uh, 128 and it end is 134. So all the necessary thing has been done. That means what, what we have done here again I am showing you and drop and the same way you can uh, go to that particular section and you can delete uh, if you want to delete a one column that also I am showing to you just a moment. Um, if you want to delete you go to the create again with uh, design view quickly design view okay then sql commands okay now what you will do you want to delete uh, the table so what you will write delete from result suppose 105 you want to delete so d e l e t e delete f r o m from r e s u l t s results so delete from result what where w h e r e where where always written word s t s t u underscore i d equals to one zero five semicolon.